What's up everybody? Alex and RJ here from Backyard Sprouts. And in today's video, we're gonna discuss the difference between sprouts and microgreens, because we get this question a lot. And that's coming up next. All right, everybody. So one of the questions that I've definitely gotten, and so is RJ, is what is the difference between sprouts and microgreens? We also see a lot of people say, hey, give me some of those sprouts, right? In reality, they're microgreens. So we've kind of compiled a bit of research today just to give it to you guys, because you might receive those questions or have those questions yourself. And we're gonna share that with you. So first and foremost, when you are growing a sprout, that is when that first set of the white tail that comes out, which is called a radical, and that's it yeah. that's it you stop right there and you serve them just like that that's the sprout where it's early stages of sprouting a microgreen is simply the stage after sprouts it's when it grows its first two sets of leaves which is called cotyledon leaves and that's where all the nutrients and energy is stored so that it disperses it into the plant to grow so sprouts is when it just simply has its first set of radicals which is the white tail, and then microgreens is just simply the stage after that where it actually allow where we allow it to grow its first two set of cotyledon leaves. And Alex will go ahead and give you just a little more facts, but that is literally yeah. the simplest form between sprouts and microgreens. And we will have, um, nope, that's it. Yeah. So sprouts are usually grown. Um, there are others, you know, can be grown in water. Is more common, right? You can do them in soil, but between sprouts and microgreens, they're both heavily nutrient dense because you're not allowing those nutrients to spread throughout the plants. So University of Maryland actually did a study and specifically on microgreens, they are uh, four to 40 times more nutrient rich than their adult counterparts. And in particular, for example, they talk about cilantro in this article from One Green Planet. And they say cilantro showed three times more beta, carotene while red cabbage should almost 40 times greater vitamin E and six times more vitamin C. So really when you talk about the nutrient benefits of eating the sprouts and the micros, it's just so much more impactful than eating, you know, the fully grown plant. Um, another thing you have to just be careful of, especially if you're planning to grow sprouts is they tend to be more at risk of listeria because they're uh, more intact with the soil like micros are cutting them off right a few inches off of the soil now we as we mentioned in other videos have we do listeria testing but you absolutely want to do it if you're growing sprouts so what are some common types of sprouts well you have alfalfa chickpea broccoli um, mung bean lentil radish sunflower pumpkin those are like your really common ones you're going to see especially off health food stores then when you look at microgreens, some of those are going to be similar. So radish is very common, broccoli, sunflower, but you're going to get pea, uh, cilantro, arugula. Some of those are going to be more on the microgreen side than the sprout side. So they have some correlation and some differences, but it's nice to have a variety, especially if you're going to tackle both ends. But just make sure you understand the difference when you're marketing, especially because you're going to be speaking to chefs who you know know their stuff. And for sure, make sure you're doing any type of testing to make sure they're clean if you're gonna be mixing those or serving them as well. So I hope this video now shows you guys the difference between sprouts and microgreens, especially when you go to the store, you'll see the sprouts are really tiny, right? Like usually jammed together and microgreens will have those prettier leaves. So you can explain to people now when they're asking you to get them some sprouts that you grow microgreens, not sprouts, and you can give them some of the facts and the nutrient uh, definitions behind them. We really hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And as always, Alex and I are trying to build a community of like minds. So we'd absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure. And we will see you guys next time.